Hello what? there. Ooh, ooh. Hello. What's up, you guys? Welcome to another YouTube video. I'm Luis Garcia. And in today's video, what I want to show you guys is what I use for my life size statues, what I use to fill the gaps and the seams on my life size statues. And I want to be talking to you guys about it. Thank you guys for being here. If you guys haven't slammed that like button, please do so or subscribe to my channel so you won't be missing these type of videos in which I show you guys what to do with the prints, tips and tricks, all that kind of stuff. Okay. So I've been getting a lot of questions. How do I fill in the seams, fill in the gaps on my statues? How do I do it? What do we, what do you use? 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 And I want to tell you guys what I use. Now I started off with Bondo glazing putty, which is this one right here. I'll show you guys right there. I started off with that one, but it is 10 bucks to buy, I think, or six bucks. It is six bucks to buy, you know, it, and it's just a tube like that. So you're going to be wasting a lot of money on that one with the statues. Now, if it's a one six scale statue, a quarter scale, this one works perfect for them. It is awesome. I love it. Do I recommend it? Heck yes, I recommend it. But for my life size statues, also in in some areas I do recommend it but like for large 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 statues you're gonna be wasting a lot of money on that also in big gaps I use this one also it is a Liquitex modeling paste right there I use that one on big gaps like when I have parts that I have to fill in now the bad thing about this one is that it gets really hard and to sand it down it's pretty tough it's very tough it gets rock hard and it is awesome bad thing about it is that it gets super hard like really hard like rock hard and you have to give it a couple of sand on it with the heavy grit sandpaper I recommend it yes I do recommend it but it does get hard just check it out first this one does cost a good amount of money I rarely rarely use it I use the glazing spot putty instead now if you guys do not have a 3d print pen you guys need to get a 3d print pen because like let's say for example on this model there's a hole here it, it does not print out right so you get the 3d print pen and then you fill it just the outside and then you get the soldering iron and then weld it and then when it gets a little bit warm and it's still not blazing hot use your finger like to like shape it you know shape it it's gonna be a bit hot do not burn yourself of course then you get that shape there and then you use a soldering iron move it around and shape it a little bit more I highly recommend also getting a 3d print pen if there's a gigantic hole or something like that on your print that if it messed up or anything like that 3d print pen is the way to go the Liquitex modeling paste it is very tough to use the glazing spot putty it is awesome but in like big seams big holes big gaps or anything like that I do not recommend the bondo spot putty but for tiny lines and everything i recommend the bondo spot putty the huge statue of course the charizard that i'm doing as you guys can tell right there for that one i recommend that you guys use the short strand fiberglass because it is just gonna be way too much you cannot do it with glazing spot putty you cannot do it with the liquitex uh, it is just way too much it's insanely too much it's a big statue i do recommend this one the short strand fiberglass this is like heavy duty stuff already what you guys gotta do is wear glass gloves wear a mask it, the smell is just way too much it is too strong uh, it's gonna end up damaging your lungs or your brain or something like that wear a mask gloves long sleeve stuff like that because you're gonna get it in your body and it's gonna itch like brutal it's gonna itch really brutal so yes be careful with this stuff this stuff is heavy duty this is what i use for the big statues do not use this for little statues it's not gonna work i use glazing spot putty for the little statues and for the gigantic statues like eight nine ten feet now some of you some of you have also asked when i apply it how, how do i sand and everything like if it's a glazing spot putty that is really easy to take off use like grit sand sand it lightly until it's a, a, a perfect spot where everything is covered and covered nicely do not sand until it goes down to the bone or anything like that just very lightly sand it. if it's short strand fiberglass or like the liquitex be very careful i mean use medium grit somewhere through there heavy grit if it's like a big chunk of fiberglass or liquitex use a heavy grit sandpaper and then you go to medium and then you go to very light so it won't you can leave it unnoticed you can leave the gap seems unnoticed there and it could be really nice really straight you guys asked me what do i use to fill in the gaps the seams and that is what i use i will show a video demonstrating on how i use it soon thank you all if you guys have any any questions please send me a message through facebook send me a message through instagram let me know here in the comments also and i'll help you guys out thank you guys please remember if you guys haven't followed me on facebook go check it out here's my facebook and if you guys haven't followed me on instagram here's my instagram thank you guys for your love and support stay tuned for more statues that are going to be coming up more tutorials right now i'm just talking but later on i'm going to put up the videos on how i do my stuff and everything so stay tuned thank you guys i'll catch you guys on the next one